Hey, video 13. We are changing directions. We are gonna be talking about best tips for investors dealing with bad contractors. This is a very hot topic right now. And so we're on video 13. If you haven't caught my last few videos, go ahead and watch that after this one because my goal is to help you to start making money during renovations because a lot of investors are losing money during renovations and it's because they don't have processes and procedures in place to combat when things start to go wrong. They, they just kind of throw their hands up in the air, fire the contractor and hire another contractor. So um, if you ever want to jump on a one hour strategy call with me and really learn how to apply procedures and processes inside your business so you can start making the money you want to make, then jump on a one hour strategy call with me. So let's dive in. Boom. You're fired. You, it's, it, you're done. You're ready to fire the contractor. You've had this up with them and it's time to let them go. Now, I can really, really dive deep on this, but I'm just gonna talk about a couple of main points. If you truly need to fire a contractor because of shoddy work, not showing up, and just, just very poor business ethics, then you wanna make sure you document everything. As long as you have everything documented, you can present a case, then it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be more likely that you win in that, in that battle, right? If you're just not getting along with the contractor, you you just you two are bumping heads, but the work's okay. But you just you just can't seem to get eye to eye with him. Um, that, that that is fine, but you can't just fire him for that reason, or they're going to put a lien on your property. So with the contractor like that, you want to be come to terms and find out. Say, hey, listen, how can we just both go our separate ways? What is it that, you, that, that the stopping point and I agree on that stopping point. We'll pay you up that point and we'll, we'll just be done. And so that's the best way to do it. But if a contractor is like real shoddy and just, you know, doesn't have stuff together, then you're still going to want to pay that contractor up to the point that he actually did good work and finished everything and that you don't have to go back and redo. Go ahead and pay him like what he did correctly. And then the rest of it, make sure you have all the things that he's done wrong draft it out on a journal and so if it does go to court then you can show the judge like hey here's everything here's the first day here's the second day here's the third day and you'll be able to state your case and that will that will help you win the case so you don't get a lien put on your property so you can't treat these contractors like an employee you have to treat them like independent contractors and so then you're also going to want to make sure the contract that you signed with that contractor that there's no like red lines in there that basically just says you can't get out of the contract. So um, if you can't read through their, their contract, you don't really understand it, it's probably best you just hire a lawyer and and just have them siphon it through, you know, go through it and then feed it back to you and tell you exactly what you need to do. So uh, if you want me to dive deeper on this, I'm more than happy to do that. I ain't gonna cut the video off because I'm trying to keep this really short, but like I said, you can't just fire a contractor just like that. So we're gonna catch you tomorrow on video 14.